we'll be looking at or participating in uh, a soil judging or soil evaluation exercise. This will be done both in a classroom setting as well as in a laboratory setting. And in the laboratory, in this case, of course, will be a field exercise. And we'll be utilizing the land uh, judging manual that the uh, conservation district uh, publishes. We'll be going through that process and learning how to evaluate such things as soil texture by feel, uh, being able to identify the types and number of horizons that occur in the soil and where they occur, uh, measuring the slope of the land with an instrument called the ABNY level, determining erosion potential of soil at a particular evaluation site, and placing this soil into the appropriate capability class. So once we're able to evaluate these characteristics of soils in the field, then we can apply or make specific use and management recommendations based upon what land capability class that particular soil falls into. So this will be both a classroom as well as a laboratory exercise for this class. One of the things that I'm sure you're at least interested in is how, am I going to, how will I be evaluated in this class? Evaluation in this class is going to be based upon three, three things, really. Part of it will be based upon study or review questions, which you will complete and then transmit back to me that I'll be able to, to uh, evaluate and get that information back to you on how you scored on those particular questions. Uh, those review questions are used for two purposes, not only to allow you to accumulate points on some basis other than, than uh, examinations, but also they should be used by yourself as a guide in helping you to go through and read the chapters as they're assigned for the particular units in this course. So the review questions are there to use as a guide to help you look for specific information as you're reading the textbook for the class. At the completion of these uh, review questions, you'll be mailing those in to me when you've completed a unit that, that applies to that particular set of review questions. Uh, another way in which you're going to be evaluated in this course will be on the laboratories. Even though you yourself are not performing the laboratories, you will have the laboratory handouts, you'll watch the videotapes where I've actually done the procedures where you can see how they are to be done or how they would be done, and then you'll be responding to the data that I generate uh, by completing the laboratory exercise handouts to include review questions that cover the, the important principles uh, illustrated by that laboratory. And thirdly, there will be examinations uh, in the course, and those examinations will be proctored for you, or, or you'll be proctored as you, uh, you're taking those examinations, and then they will be sent in to me, and, and you'll be evaluated by those as well. I, on the course syllabus, I've published a, um, a set of grading criteria. I, I use this as a guide. Um, in my day on campus types of courses, uh, I follow this pretty closely and usually, depending on how everyone's done on the course, I, I do use a curving factor on the grade. With uh, distance learning students, um, the criteria there will be, will be similar to that, uh, but basically it will be very close to the grade scale that you see published in the syllabus here in terms of your letter grade being, being determined by the percentage of points that you obtain in the class. One of the things I'd really like to emphasize is that completeness is important here. When you're responding to review questions, responding to laboratory exercises, or responding to questions on examinations, please be thorough and complete in your answers. I'm not asking you to write a book on each of these review questions, but be sure you read the questions carefully and respond to all parts of that question. Many of these questions will have multiple parts required for you to respond to. So please take the time to read them carefully and not just respond to the first part of the question, but respond to the questions in their entirety. So hopefully from going through this review and or, and or the overview or the course syllabus, uh, you now have a good feeling for what types of material uh, you're going to receive in this course, how you're going to be evaluated in this course. and. I guess the one thing I'd like to add is that I, I believe that this, the study of soils is very fascinating. It's a very interesting science. It's a science that incorporates some basic biology principles. It also involves some chemistry. And although not obvious from going through the course outline today, there is a little bit of physics involved. The level of math required for this course is not 
uh, excessively high, but it does require you in some calculations to solve simple algebraic equations where you would find uh, solve for one unknown in, in an algebraic equation. So with that background and information, uh, welcome to AGPR 201, Basic Soil Science uh, Distance Learning Course. Uh, the next thing we'll go into is the uh, introductory lecture that deals with an overall view of the soils, soil composition, and what it is we're going to study during the progress or throughout the process of this class. Thank you.